As part of efforts to foster peace, unity, and mutual understanding in Kagoro community and the entire Kaduna state, Christians and Muslim faithfuls organized a prayer summit. Plus TV correspondent Habila Darufai was there and filed in this report. New Year's celebrations in Southern Kaduna took a new dimension over the recent attacks, killing and loss of properties. The people of Kagoro come together yearly to celebrate their culture and share love with one another. Speaking, the country director of the Global Peace Foundation, Reverend Dr. Joseph Hybe said, despite their attacks and killings, the people are united, noting that there are people feeling crisis for personal gains. Unfortunately, there was an attack some weeks ago, which led to the death of so many people. Uh, we were really disturbed and worried, but the Peace and Reconstruction Committee said, wait a minute, we've made progress, we won't allow this thing to deter us. We want to prove to the world that we are making progress and we'll continue to move on. And so they organized what they call a prayer rally to bring Muslims and Christians together to say, yes, you may have seen in the picture that there's, there was killing, but we are still together. Those killing us are criminals are not part of us. So whatever it would take for government to fish them out, government should go and fish them out. But you know, what we hear sometimes is as if it is the people here are fighting among themselves. You can see from the whole gathering here that the people are together. There are Muslims, there are Christians, there are people, and everybody is here. Who are these ones killing? They come and they go, and no one is going after them and giving a picture as if the people are the ones fighting among themselves. He also lamented the incessant killings and attacks on people urging the government at all levels to rise up to its responsibilities. Let's show the enemy of peace that we are more together. And so we've come today to dispel that it does not exist. I do also know that uh, when we do things like this, enemies of peace can come after to make it look as if it is real. But I can see the determination of these people, that they are not ready to give up until peace is restored in Kaburu. Poverty has a way of creating violence. <laughs> so when people are economically empowered or are engaged or have something to do, then they can voice out against any form of violence. The president of the Kagoro Development Association, Professor Gambo Dunia, said people must shun violence and respect one another. God always allows challenges to come to you so that you will reflect and correct your ways. So we see this as part of those challenges. Okay. Perhaps there are things that we are not doing correctly. And that is why we need to pray for guidance, we need to pray for direction, and so that we can take the necessary steps and actions that will engender peace in the community, and that's the essence. She said to Kasar Kaworoli, that she said to Nashem, Mutanen Kazuke Lama Kaworoli, to the Sama, to the Kenya, the Kowa, the Kansu, the Dukmutanen Kazuke. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.